Welcome to An Holland. We are in the first week of Stack a Profitable Block Challenge, and I am super excited. Big thank you to all of my family and friends who have replied and also joining me on these journeys. I do my best to make you all proud. Okay. So if you have missed the previous video where I explained why I'm doing this challenge and how the whole thing is going to lay out, then please click the link above or check in the description box to watch the last video so you can understand more the purpose of this journey. And maybe you can even join me. Many successful bloggers have said that blogging is a fantastic and amazing journey. I'm sure it could take a lot of time and effort, especially for the people who are new to the internet or to the online business things. But with determination, uh, I know that one day I will make thousand pounds per month while staying full time at home with my kids and you can do it too all right although this is a seven week challenge i intend to continue to grow this block into the money making machine so it can serve many people many years to come today i'm going to walk you through the seven step in detail so that you have the basic of idea framework of how it works um, this also the layout for the seven weeks video stack from today. Um, so I'm going to walk you through my, my journey of starting a profitable blog, so you can see for yourself how easy it is. Just a shout out for Susie as stack a mom blog because I'm doing it based on her. A blog number course and if you want to check more out more about it then see on the description below so you can find out more for yourself because obviously I haven't done this before so I got to follow someone that already successful and um, I will tell you another day the reason why, why I choose Susie's uh, blog by number course right so the seven steps are follows. First step is getting up my block. Because first, I need to set goal first before I start. Right? Anything you do, you got to set the goal and decide on a niche or a domain name. Then I can start my block. In this step, I'm going to walk you through how do I decide on the perfect blog niche and how to create an unforgettable blog name and step by step how to start a blog etc the second step is setting up my themes i got to choose the themes color scheme and um, setting up a feminines and free themes the third step is going to install all the plugs in on the wordpress and the fourth step is going to be brainstorm or the post idea um, and to create a schedule to write my post, starting writing an awesome post. You know, fifth step on the fifth step, I'm going to edit the image in order to market my content after writing the post. And I'm going to walk you through how I'm creating the pin and dress image that go viral. On the sixth step, I'm going to promote my blog. So you got to see how I'm going to promote it. Um, I'm going to use Pinterest and Facebook um, only to promote it. So no cost involved in doing this, which is great. And I'm going to show you how to get thousands of visitors to visit a new blog. Yes. And lastly, the seventh step is I'm going to start making money. Uh, Basically, I'm going to show you all the techniques I use to make money, start making money with a new blog. And I trust I could be able to show you how I make my first dollar. So it's gonna go like this, seven step, 
will be broken down into seven weeks videos. And because of the intensity of the challenge, you got to bear with me on this since each video will be quite long because it's packed full of great value and content for you. And it's also my real practicing on this, you know. So, okay, let's get into week one. Today, we go into and to accomplish three things. Set goals and decide on a niche to get domain name. Sign up for SiteGround. Okay, so number one, set goal and decide on a niche. Main part of setting goal is important to write down the reason why I'm doing it. And the big reason I started blogs was that, okay, it's going to sell this service to you but because i know for sure in the next three to five years i want to travel the world with my child and my family and to fund the travel we need some source of steady income i know my other small business won't be able to sustain that in the long term because it's going to be closed down soon since i'm no longer fighting choice running it and secondly i do this for my child so she can see what I'm doing and I can be a great model for her to become a self-reliant, sensible and joyful, happy person. And knowing that money making is easy and everything is unlimited. Alright? The third reason I'm doing this is for my family. I know in the next 10 to 20 year time, I will need to take care of my parents and my husband. And with this consistent passive income, it will be easy for me to spend more time with them. So my big blocking goal is to actually help my husband not to work such a long hours and spend, and he can spend more time with us and see the baby growing up as well. And I also want to help you who have a million things going around on your mind. If you can make some money while staying at home, creating memory with your kiddos, then we will just be a wonderful life. So let's go into it. The first step to find, I need to find out my niche, um, is asking myself the following questions such as, um, what do I want to blog about? What expertise do I have? Do, I, do my friend come to me for specific and find a topic? So, what would be a great topic to blog about, you know? Um, okay, so I was in the corporate world before I became a mom. And um, I need to think about how I can combine the skill that I learned in the business world to my new roles as a model this time. Okay, I know for sure that even though there's a numerous, numerous blog on each topic, my unique voice and advice will set me apart if I always be true to myself. So to be honest, for the whole week, I was still not sure what my niche should be. And if that's you as well, then, you know. But um, the thing is that I know for sure that the worst things that I can do is to take weeks and weeks and weeks deciding on the perfect block name and niche. You know the feeling, right? <laughs> so I spent weeks trying to decide on the perfect block name. And I know I just had to jump in and do it because action will bring me my niche faster, right? So I will arrive at the niche faster if I just start one at a time. And it doesn't matter if it's not going to be the one because I can always change it later. Because once I have already know how to start and what to do, then changing with such a small things as a topic, I'm sure it's been no problem at all. Yeah. So if you are feeling stuck and lost, I should change choosing a broader blog name. This will enable you to, you know, pivot and change your niche after a few months. When you find your voice and see what your reader like, I will learn that I need to niche down to a specific topic I want to focus on. Because if I cover too many categories, my reader will be lost and confused. So I need to provide my reader with a clear vision and it start by niching it down. After writing down and doing all that, my blocking niche should be something I love 
which is being a mom of parents and something I'm passionate about which is bringing up my child happily and joyfully and then something that incorporates well into my life which is self-exploration, no teachings or parenting as such and I have freedom to be who I am and my child has freedom to be who she is Okay, and then a topic that I have a unique spinning on. So then I decide it's gonna call No Parenting's Parent Approach. Okay, it's a topic that I will write about for years. Mm. Okay, it's gonna be about raising parents and nurturing a child. So what do strength I have on this? Positive and time that's I got. And is the blog got to fulfill a profitable need? I mean, I can help parents who struggle with parent-child relationship to be able to prep for it. And parents can watch their child blossoms in freedom and happiness. That's what my child is going to be as well. And I know for sure that my relationship with her will be just wonderful. Okay, so conclusion is that for the next five years, I'm going to concentrate on practicing and writing about no parenting approach. Which, as we become parents, I think the best thing we can do for our child is starting to uh, learn about ourselves. We got to raise ourselves first before we raise our child. And it is only the best thing that we do for our child is nurturing them with great involvement. And therefore, I think no parenting will be the best parenting style approach that all parents should use. And if you are interested in the concept, please check out my first blog where I'm writing extensive about that. So it's be the next video. So step one, done. Now we head over to step two and three, which is getting domain name and sign up for hosting. I'm going to show you my screen of me in action of buying a domain name and sign up for the hosting and if you don't know what they are then to simplify you can think of it this way right so your domain name is a little plate you put on your front door to tell people which is your apartment number and hosting is like your landlord and you are renting uh, the server place from them to host your website and then after you got the host you need to install WordPress um, so basically wordpress.org is your apartment buildings this is where you build your blog so you know me now you know me talking now let's head over to the screen and implement it okay in order to go to do that, let's keep it simple. You go to sitecrowd.com. Um, if you're in the UK, it will automatically appear as sitecrowd.co.uk. And um, they, they have three plans either start up, crow big, or go big. At the beginning, I'm going to go with the start up because I would just need one website. so. By doing this, later on, if I have more multiple websites, I can increase to ProBit, which the best seller that most people go on this at the first stage, I think. For now, I'm going to just keep it simple. We stick stupidly simple people. We go for the startup one. Let's get started. Now I need to fill all of this and then pay for it. Choose step one done, choose plan step two, choose domain done, step three review and complete. Now I need to fill all the in this information. Domain domain registration is eleven huh? Domain privacy, nine power year and self crowd side crowd size scanner. I'm gonna keep it simple and not going for any of this. It's, I highly recommend you if you do your sign go to help me because this will be my testing side the main side I'm using is Anhai from Holland 
um, the main block. So and that I have already set up. So this is just an example that I'm setting up so you can see. It's quite expensive to be honest. But SiteGround is good service, good customer service, good information, safe and everything skill. So gonna go for it. If you in the US, you probably pay less. Okay, my account was successfully created. Okay, now I can proceed to the customer area. Yeah, and now I can log in with the log in that I choose earlier. Uh, please blur this out, Jack. Okay. Sign in. Now we have a domain name and a host. Okay, set up the website. Brilliant. So I trust that was helpful to you to see me in action of getting those things. Um, now come to the always, always asking mommy worrying questions. Okay, because I did that before. What if there's a ton of other bloggers already have a niche that I want to go into? Okay, too bad there's no piece of, of the pie for me anymore. Oh no, uh, just kidding. You know, that's the reality is very opposite to your worrying. So don't let that discourage you. Okay, if you it, it should make you happier because that means the niche is actually popular and in high demand. And it also means there's a lot of other blockers you can collaborate with and working with. You see, the world is an enormous place and you can create another pie for yourself. So don't need to share a piece of pie with others if you're not up to it yet. Additionally, even better, if there are many blogs on the same topic, each blogger will have a unique spin on it. For example, I follow multiple of vegan blogs and they are all basically saying the same things, eat healthily and exercise, but I love the difference in personality and the different points of view and the different journeys and they are all inspirational, you know? So that is how multiple blogs in the same niche can be super successful. I trust that help you, mama, papa, parents, and don't stress out about it because I want you to have fun with this as I had. And now we have finished starting up everything. We have the basics block to start writing about. In the next video, we go into work on writing the post for our blog.